Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Teaching Learning with Purnima once again and today we will learn the chapter A Letter to God by G. L. Funtis. First of all, let me tell you something about the chapter, some important facts. The story A Letter to God is written by Gregorio Lopez E. Funtis. He is a Mexican novelist. The story the chapter a letter to god depicts or describes lencho's unwavering or unquestionable faith in god he is a farmer but he believes in god so strongly that no one can question his faith it also portrays incessant or continuous struggle between humanity and nature humanity and nature they have always been struggle man dreams something and nature has its own plan and many times nature spoils his dreams and devastates his endeavors foiling all his dreams and it has been happening since eternity as i have already told you lencho is a poor farmer he lives on the top of the hill and his house is solitary on that hill it is only one house in the entire valley he can see from his house the entire valley. He is growing corn in his field. Corn crop is very good. It has got flowers. Only one thing is needed and that is rain showers. That is why he prayed to God for good rain showers. And actually it rained. It started raining. He was happy. His family was happy. His children danced in the rain. And he started comparing raindrops to new coins. The coins which are fresh, they are shining as if they, they have just now come from the mint. Because the raindrops are shining, they are looking like round pieces of coins only. And due to that, he started dreaming that his crop will be so good that he will eventually become rich. But nature as I told you, has its own plan. These raindrops suddenly turned into hailstones, round pieces of ice. I hope everybody uh, must have seen hailstones. It looked as if his entire field is covered with salt. Salt is also found in round pieces, white round pieces. So same way, his crop was covered with hailstones. Now he thought even the locusts, the insects, which are very dangerous for crop, they also could have left some leaves of his crop. But hailstones did not leave anything. They covered entire field and they destroyed all his crop. Now he is so sad. He is devastated. He is shaken from within. Entire night he was thinking, worrying how he will feed his family, what will he give to his family as food. But then he remembered his elders have told him that God sees everything and nobody's pain is hidden from God. And that is why he developed robust belief in God since his childhood. That is why he started writing a letter to God. He knew God will help him and he explained all his condition in the letter telling how his crop was destroyed and he does not have anything to feed his family. He requested God to send him 100 pesos. He addressed the letter to God on the envelope. He wrote to God and posted the letter in mailbox. The postmaster, he was so surprised actually to see the letter which is addressed to God in this new world. Who writes letter to God? The letter was found by one of the postmen. He, he came laughing and postmaster was also amused. He also laughed but then he wanted to read it. He had a curiosity. He could not restrain or control his curiosity. He wanted to know what is there inside the letter. But when he read the letter, he got to know that only goodwill is not enough. He was a genuine person. He was moved by Lencho's problem, his sad condition. 
he was also influenced by his strong faith in god he could never ever find a single soul in his life who had such strong faith in god and could write a letter to god and he was so influenced that is why he decided that this man's faith should not be shaken his faith should not be broken his faith should be kept intact and for that only goodwill was not enough for that he needed to give money and he decided that he will send the money he asked all his colleagues all his friends also to help whatever they could do but since they were not so well to do they could only collect 70 pieces and he put the entire money whatever they could collect in an envelope and on a simple page plain page he wrote a word god in order to signify that the letter and the money is sent by god only lencho received the letter he got the money he wasn't surprised to see money he knew that reply will come he knew that money will be sent by god but he was angry when he counted the money he found only 70 pesos he asked for 100 pesos he got angry he knew god has sent all 100 pesos these post office employees have stolen his money god cannot commit any mistake god cannot deny his request god must have fulfilled his request and sent 100 pesos but these post office employees only have taken his money that is why he got angry and he wrote to god again what did he write postmaster was so curious to read he wanted to know what lencho is writing now this time he had he had a hope lencho might have thanked god he might be happy but when he read he got to know that lencho has abused post office employees calling them a bunch of crooks cheats dishonest people saying that they have stolen his 30 pesos and he asked god to send again the money rest of the money 30 pesos not through post office by some other media because post office employees are a bunch of crooks now postmaster is left thinking even the readers were also thinking what kind of person is this what happened nothing could please him instead of thanking god instead of thanking the people who ever sent him money he is abusing the people the chapter ended in irony let me tell you what is irony when our beliefs our words or action are in contrast of the reality when we say something and that happened to be contrast of reality jab hum kuch sochte hain kuch karte hain ya fir kuch kehte hain reality ke against ho jata hai that becomes irony to postmaster and other employees they displayed high sense of charity the spirit they showed spirit of compassion they helped lencho ignoring their own needs they might be having their needs their family their expenses but they ignored those needs and expenses and helped lencho this spirit of compassion kindness needed deserved great admiration applause it should be appreciated it should be applauded they should have been thanked they should have been rewarded but as a contrast they are being abused their kindness is put to question and that is why this chapter ends in irony their efforts were distrusted abused and lencho called them a bunch of crooks lencho believes god who is not there with him but he cannot believe other human beings who are around him and who could very well help him this is the irony in the chapter this chapter also talks about two conflicts first is man versus nature 
we have always seen struggle between man and nature especially in the case of farmers you might have heard the news farmers committing suicide because they could not get good good crop same way lencho also his crop was destroyed due to rain he expected and he dreamt to earn good money but all his dreams were spoiled by hailstones so that is the conflict between man and nature another conflict is between man and another set of men for example the postmaster and other employees who helped lencho and contributed 70 pesos to keep his faith intact in god but this generosity and compassion was not trusted they were abused in the same way in our practical world also we do not trust our fellow human beings other human beings we believe god who is not there with us whom we have not seen but we do not believe the other human beings that is the conflict now let's see few important points of character of lencho lencho is a man with unquestionable and unshakable faith in god whatever comes his belief cannot be shaken he had strong faith in god even in the most difficult time of his life when all his crop was destroyed he knew god will be helping him though he works like an ox in his field works all the time in his field but he was literate enough that he could write his name and a letter he is a name he strongly believes whatever he has been taught since his childhood and he cannot change he is foolish in practical sense because he does not use his logic beyond his beliefs and his learning he is innocent enough he does not question his beliefs he does not doubt his beliefs he simply believes whatever he knows and whatever he has been taught people like lencho might exist in this world but it is very difficult to find such people especially in this modern fast changing world and even if we find such people it will be very difficult for us to accept them postmaster is a fat amiable person he is fat just like any any person in sedentary job and he is amiable he is happy friendly he is kind and helpful he not only helps um, lencho alone but he also motivates his colleagues to help lencho because he knew alone he cannot be helping lencho enough he is concerned and thoughtful he understood he realized in what great problem lencho is he also knew that his faith in god should not be shaken should not be broken because very few people have such strong faith in god that is why this faith should not be broken so he is concerned enough to understand all these things he is fine gentleman he takes the trouble of reading the letter most of the postmen they are not so much bothered about what people are writing in their letters but he reads and he helps an unknown person who he is not concerned with he is a good natured man he shares good rapport with his colleagues that is why his colleagues they listen to him they follow his advice out of out of their comfort zone they are ready to help lencho just because postmaster is a good natured man i hope you have understood the chapter if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box thank you for watching my channel bye bye all the best